Hi there, this is another GM tutorial for Scabbard RPG Campaign Manager. We're going to talk about how to build connections for characters today and specifically how to build a family tree. So this is a quick tutorial, we'll be done in just a few minutes, thanks for watching. Okay, like I said at the beginning of the video, this is a quick tutorial on how to create connections and build a family tree inside Scabbard RPG Campaign Manager. Let's take a look. I have got a character here for our sample campaign, the War of the Mountain Gods, the Lord Rom Turnbull III, who I will, whenever I play him, will talk a lot like this. Rom Turnbull has to have a mother and a father if I'm going to build a family tree. So the first thing I did, I do want to show you this new feature in Scabbard RPG Campaign Manager, and it is called Alias. Why do we use aliases? If you go into Edit right here, click on the Edit there at the top, you'll see I added two aliases. Why? Well, because every time I want to auto-link to this character, I want the system to run through all my text and find Rom, Rom, Turnbull. Anytime I write those, I, I want it to know that I'm referring to this character. So now it's going to know that. All I did was I put in the name, I put a comma, and I you can put as many alias -si aliases as you want in there, and that will help you to find this character in the auto-linking feature. All right, the next thing we want to do is we want to add some connections to build a family tree. All right, I made this fairly straightforward. Uh, we want to go under Father right here and this is going to be the lord and you'll see this come up i've already created a character in here called lord rom turnbull the second junior and we'll click on that there and we're going to say this is the father of because an important npc in our campaign is going to be a guy named ram turnbull the son of the current lord and then i'm going to go down here to mother and i'm going to put in lady uh, Alvia Turnbull right there and there's our characters we've got three connections now so what's really cool is now the tab called family is going to suddenly become active and become a lot more interesting as we move through it okay so let's take a look let's save this up in here and boom now I've got my connections you can go to your connections by clicking that chain right there. You can also go to your connections by clicking the connections button right there. And now if we go down here to family, you will see we now have a family tree. This is interactive, so we can click on these people and it will take us right to that entry. Pretty cool. Very, very simple. You can get more complex. You can have grandparents in there. You can have step parents in there. You can have all kinds of really cool stuff going on there. So I encourage you to try it out. It will list them all here. So if there's nephews and nieces and things like that as you build this out, it will list it all on your family tree. Even if it doesn't list it in the graphic there, it will list it down below. So you'll see that is interactive. It's going to take us to our new character. And now we can start to work on our history and our background for this character here. And you'll also notice there is a family tree built for this character, Lord Rom Turnbull II, and it lists Lord Rom Turnbull III as the child. All right. Hope you're having a great day. That's it for this tutorial. And uh, we'll see you soon on the next one.